Welcome to MTG Pops The show where we review stuff With Susan and Billy Joe When they tell you what they got up on their feet they know Susan Billy Joe Susan Billy Joe Susan Billy Joe MTG Pops Welcome Welcome back to MTG Buffs, the number one MTG reviewer show in America. I'm your host, Susan, and joined as always by my co-host, Billy Joel. Um, we have a wonderful show for you planned today, coming out of the holidays, though I have to say I do feel like I'm still in a New York state of mind. But we're going to open with the answers from the previous question of the week, Billy Joel. Thank you everyone for answering the question whether or not you thought it was harder to build a good deck out of magic cards or a good deck out of wood. There were a lot of deck jokes in the comments. Very big deck energy. There was quite a bit of deck energy, very big deck energy from last week's comments and we just would like to roll that energy through to this week and I think our reviews are going to be really review so I would like to review the Richard Garfield game Spynet those of you who know Magic the Gathering may know of Richard Garfield he is a man who designs games not the cat Garfield no, a different one also good, but in di but different. Less good. Less good. This is a two to four player game where you play spies, you play cards to win, and as with many of Richard Garfield's games, there is good decision making, elements of tension. I find it quite amusing and entertaining. I rate it one brilliant halo and one traveler's cloak. Oh, wonderful. I will have to try that game, given your review. What did you have? This week I reviewed Taking Things for Granted, um, and the review took out some time, but, but the, the results are in, and I give Taking Things for Granted three weakness, two paralyze, and a tackle maggot in a pear tree. Very festive and thoughtful. Thank, thank you, Susan. Thank you. Uh, did you have a question of the week? The question of the week is, if you had to be either a ceiling fan or a bookshelf, which would you be and why? And we've gone back and forth about this is because it's technically two questions, but I do think they need to go together. So please, no pressure, Billy Joel. We talked about this before. I made a last minute adjustment. That is the question. That is all. And please stop with the hate mail. Be kind. With Susan and Billy Joel. I'll tell you what they got up on their feet, they know.